One of the stuff that we are all uh, grateful about is the construction stuff. So if I come over to furniture where we left off and come back to city, if I scroll down, we have construction stuffs now. And these construction stuffs are so they're so nice because we can either bring them as one piece and choose to split them around. So I'm going to go through and let's say I'm dragging this construction set number 10 right into the scene and I'm dropping it here. Okay, so now it's here. I can choose to select one of them. Let me uh, get a hold of this. I can choose to select one of these and position this where I want it to be. So it's not necessary that you bring them as as a whole piece and then you cannot uh, break them apart. It's a feature that I find to love a lot. You bring in the whole stuff and then you can go ahead and, and play with how they, they look. Other things that are very impressive is they've added more humans than they had uh, in previous version, more human characters. So if I go over to the human characters, they've added a ton of human characters. So now because we have a construction scene, I would like to find a construction worker somewhere around here. And here it says a tavern worker. So let me bring this all the way out. Oh, this is nice. And I can position this somewhere here just to fit into the description of what is happening here. Okay. And I can also drag in another worker that seems to be putting on a different shirt. Uh, different colored shirt, which is not a problem because here in Twin Motion we can choose what color preset we want. So it looks to me that he's putting on the color preset of number four, and we can also choose what animation we want this worker to have. So let's say I could choose something like five, which seems to be which seems to be nice. So we can have that working for us there. And one of the other things that you can do with the human characters that have been added here is you can get a character in here and you can play with how you want the character to behave. So I'm just going to zoom over to a character which we have here, just like in the previous uh, character example. You can also change what you want the character to be doing at a given time. Now, these characters that comes in from a different application, I don't really know if it is just me, but you cannot really move them because I think they are considered as being very static coming up from here. But if you can, uh, please tell me how you can do that in the comment section below. Flags are also one of the big improvements that has been added into Twinmotion 2019. And if we go all the way up, we can also uh, pick these flags from here. We can pick the flags from here. So uh, in previous version, we had a ton of flags, but now they've just simplified it to just the different types of flags that you can have, which is really nice because all we have to do is just pick this flag out. And then let's look at this. And when you get to change, you can scale the flag how you want it to be. So let me just scale the flag all the way up. By the way, you use the number four five and six to toggle around your uh, transform tool type. So I'm pressing five so that I can rotate the flag a little bit, say something about this. Good. And we can change the, the speed as well. We can also change the direction of the speed, uh, the direction of the wind, sorry. And also the fun part of this is when you go all the way, let me just get this flag selected. When you go all the way to where we have texture and you click on the open, you can select whatever flag you want.
Hi, before you click the next video on the top right corner of the screen, if you like what you've just seen, click on the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates next time we upload a new video.